Hi, Tally. Hey, Mia. Can you see me or hear me? Or? I definitely can hear you. Um, as do you Perfect. see my screen? Your screen, yep. Okay. Is it showing the um, the PowerPoint? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So I'll um, actually show it um, as a slideshow um, as soon as we're ready to start. Sounds good. Perfect. I'm going to shut my door. Okay, you can see me. All right. All right, good morning, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. I would like to introduce Callie Lerner. She is with Dominion Energy and has some great opportunities to discuss with us today. So I'm going to turn it on over to Callie and I will bring up the PowerPoint now. Thanks, Mia. Thanks to everybody who's joined. I, uh, appreciate you taking the time to listen to me today and look forward to hopefully sharing something interesting with you and if you have any questions I can definitely take them at the end just because the nature of um, how we're doing this it might be better to wait till then rather than talk throughout but if you do have a question um, Mia you said they can chat you on the uh, on zoom and then you can let me know if there's a question exactly okay, sounds good all right and we'll just get started um, so I know all of you know what Dominion Energy is, or I'm sure you've heard of us in some way or another, not at least paying your power bill. Um, but I don't think what a lot of people realize is the breadth that Dominion Energy has on our community. And so I think it's something people take for granted until they realize that it's gone. So, you know, you never think twice about your power until either you have to pay the bill or until the power is out. And so other ways that Dominion really touches the community aside from when there's an issue is how well we work and how how many opportunities do we have to help every single person. So all of you listening are using a phone or a computer which you had to charge and and to get that charge you had to use Dominion Energy's power and so things like that and then also like cooking meals if you have an electric stove or um, if you know someone in the hospital they rely and they're relying on um, some I don't know medical terminology but you know, you know, that all requires energy as well and so it really makes such a deep impact on the community and that's why we have such an important product to offer um, and so that's kind of the the importance of Dominion and so now I'll start to get into kind of the the details of how we run our business and if you could change to the next slide please Mia. Thank you. So that being said, we are one of the nation's largest energy providers and all of our business relies on our four core values. Um, safety being the most important one. We want all of our employees to come home or to come to work and leave work in the same condition. Um, so we want everybody to be safe and, and be able to do their job every day uh, in the best way they can. And so that also leads on to ethics. And so in addition to being safe, we want all of our work to be ethical. And so that's something very uh, important to everybody within Dominion. We like to do our work with excellence and as a team. And all of our business can kind of boil back down to these four core values. And it's really shown in the awards we've received um, as Forbes Best Place to Work, Military Times Best for Vets Employer, and Fortune's Most Admired Utility Company. And those kind of change every year, but those are just a few of the most noteworthy ones that we've gotten. Um, I really think it speaks to the how well Dominion Energy is set up as a company. So if you could change the next slide, please. Now this is a lot of numbers and information. I won't get into the nitty gritty of it, but basically what I want you all to take from this slide is that we're a very strong company. We've been around for a long time. I want to say over 100 years. Uh, I would have to look and find the exact amount, but we've been around for a very long time in some form or fashion, as long as people really have needed energy um, in the modern day. And so that's proven by 
um, all these different numbers you see and how strong our, our financial side of the company is. And, and our Fortune 500 rank is 238, so we're right there in the middle and pretty strong, I would say, for especially for a utility company. Um, something I'd like to point out is our volunteer service. So last year, or this year, 2017 data, um, probably taken from 2016, but reported in 2017, we had 101,000 hours of volunteer service de donated by our employees. And so that's a really important part of our company culture. We allow our employees to take um, time off to volunteer and, and either a company run um, volunteer program or something on their own. So if you have your own initiative that you can start, then we will um, pay you for those hours. And of course, we will, you know, depending on our managers and everything, let you do. Um, work on that even more, but you get paid for nine hours just to volunteer, which I think is pretty cool um, to show the dedication that the company has to helping out the community. We did change the next slide, please. Now, as far as our business units, we have four um, overarching business units. Power delivery is the one that you're probably most familiar with. That's the all the wires and the lines that you see along the road and going into your house and actually providing you with the electricity. Power generation has to do with how we generate that power. Um, so like our nuclear power stations, our hydro um, plants, um, coal when we have them, but we're phasing that out. So things like that um, to build that power so we can give it to our, to the, to our customers. Um, gas infrastructure is more along the gas side and a lot of that is um, focused on in Ohio. And then services is the, the corporate support effectively. So I'm in, I'm in services, I'm in human resources and staffing. And so I help all of the other business units for my specific role recruiting for um, different positions within those, those units. And so there are other parts of services as well, like accounting, finance, all those you know, corporate communications, all those typical. Um, departments and so that's that's another section of Dominion but we you know we've got something for everybody just about. Um, if you could go to the next slide please Mary. Now 17,000. Um, typically I would ask people to guess what what 17,000 is but since we're we're not face to face I'll just go right out and tell you that's the number of employees we have and that's ever growing. And so we have 17,000 employees across our four business units and then plus several thousand contractors, I believe. I don't want to give you an exact number on that, but we have lots of contractors as well. Um, so we've got a pretty big family and we're always hiring, of course, which is why my role exists. And all of these people, a lot of these people have been with the company for 10, 20, 30 years even. Um, and a lot of them with that are starting to retire. And so we will have um, we are having and will continue to have several vacancies just from people retiring and, and moving out of their role and then kind of bumping up the ladder, other people taking their um, place. And so lots of entry level positions in the future. And so I'll, you know, anything you like right now on our website, we will definitely have some in the future. And so lots to come. If you could change the next slide, please. Thank you. So as far as work locations, we're not just in Virginia. Um, we've got plenty of locations in Virginia, as so that's where our headquarters are, and that's kind of where our, part of our main uh, um, project, like program programs, our main product is uh, created. But we also are, have a heavy presence in Ohio and Connecticut, West Virginia, um, and we're starting to expand to other regions as well. I we just bought um, or merged with Questar in Utah. Um, got a few solar plants in, in California and all sorts of stuff around the country. So if you don't like where you live, we, a lot of our location, or a lot of our um, opportunities do have the relocation packages depending on, on what it is. So that's just the perk we've got. Can you go to the next slide, please? Thank you. So for, for any of the military and veterans out there, I know out in Hampton, there are quite a few of you. Mm -hmm. We are order of veterans and military personnel. One in five of our new hires right now is a veteran. And so I think that kind of um, speaks to how strongly we believe in veterans work ethic and their ability to produce great work. And so that's just a fun little fact and hopefully that number will continue to go up. If you can continue the next slide, please. 
So another um, program we have kind of to speak to the um, depth that we really believe in our military and veterans is a Troops to Energy Jobs program. And I'm sure a lot of you have heard of that. Um, I won't get into the details of it, but I think it really just shows how much of a supporter we are of military and veterans. Go to the next, please. As far as our intern program, um, I'm gonna start off talking about our intern program because I imagine that's what a lot of you are interested in, but I will talk a little bit about full-time opportunities as well. So for those of you interested in internships, we, we do require, well first, we have a very big internship program, 250 interns every summer or so. Um, in different areas ranging from business to engineering, we have some skilled trades, um, internships as well. Not as many as the rest, but they're, they're gaining traction for more to come. A um, bunch of IT internships and then some math and science and liberal arts as well. And so we've got a lot of different opportunities and we've posted several right now and we will have more to come um, in the coming months. So I will talk a little bit more about how to learn more about those in a bit. Um, but our intern program is really one of a kind. If you could go to the next slide, I'll kind of show. Um, some picture, er, here I'll go over this and then you'll see the pictures. So our internships are paid. Um, we've got scholarships and award programs. Um, and then for our interns that are near our offices, a lot of the time they get to stay on part-time during the school year, which is pretty awesome. Um, something I actually got to do as an intern myself. And that being said, we, our interns are very important to us as a, a um, talent pipeline. So we like to bring in our interns and put them into our entry level positions. So that's why you won't find a whole lot of entry level positions on our website because we fill most of them with interns. Um, but while our interns are here, they have such an incredible time. We put on events and opportunities through them throughout the summer. Um, we've got a kickoff event, we've got professional development, we've got um, tours of our facilities. And so there's always something to learn and always something to do, which is great. We go to the next slide. I think that's the one that I have pictures on. Thank you. So here we go. Here's some of the program bonuses I was just talking about. Um, you'll see our interns have volunteered in the community. We've had after hours events for them. Um, all sorts of stuff, which is really, really great program. And something that to keep in mind as if you're interested in intern opportunities is that we do require that interns be um, going back to school this, the semester after their internship with us. So if you graduated, we, we can't take it, it's just not part of our, our program. But if you do have at least one semester following um, next summer or more, um, then you're definitely eligible for our programs. And from there, you have a pretty good opportunity of getting a full-time job, um, which is, again, I think just speaks to how effective our intern program is. Mm -hmm. Go to the next slide, Mia. Thank you. So these are just some statistics for you. We've got, uh, it says 225, but usually, um, goes closer to 250 interns every year. It comes from 80 or more different majors. We have 70 or more schools represented. Um, interns come from 20 different states, their hometowns. And of our 250 interns, um, about 70% of them return multiple summers. And then of those that are eligible to receive a full-time offer, the seniors that won't be um, won't have another summer to intern with us. About 75% of them receive full-time offers, wow. which really shows that you have, a, you have a pretty good opportunity to get your foot in the door if you've got an internship with us. Um, so if you have any questions on the intern program, happy to take them at the end, but we've got a great thing going and I hope you might find some interest in it as well. If you could go to the next slide. So if you are interested in full-time opportunity, um, whether that's coming on after you intern with us, or if you happen to find one of those one-off entry-level opportunities that didn't um, have an intern to fill for it, then we've got great benefits. We've got medical, dental, vision, life insurance, form and pays, tuition assistance if you decide to go back to school, many paid vacation days. I think it's about 30 hours a quarter, which is awesome. Um, and then plus all the normal holidays and things like that. So, very good benefits. Can you go to the next slide, please? Thank you. So, now for those of you in internships and not interested in coming on as a you know, typical entry level position, we do have other entry level opportunities in the skilled trade field. And the one that we hire for the most, I've got a few listed on there, but those are kind of 
the one that's bolded is the one we had for the most and that's line workers. The others are kind of one-offs and we have to kind of keep an eye out on our um, careers website for that. So for line workers, we hire about 20 line workers every, in every location. So three, we've got three main locations in Virginia Central, um, Eastern and Northern, and we've got, we hire about 20 every hiring event. We do hiring events two or three times a year per region. So we've got lots coming, um, and that's part, even part to the, um, to the retirements that I had mentioned. And just because line workers, once they get their foot in the door with us, they can either um, go up their path, um, or they can kind of go into uh, like a power plant or whatever interests them. But I'll backtrack and explain what a line worker is for those of you who don't know. So when you see the power out and you see bucket trucks and the Dominion trucks going around and fixing the power, you see people in the bucket trucks and they're up and they're fixing the lines, but you also see people on the ground assisting them there. And so in the past, we've called them ground men. Um, now we call them line workers because it really kind of better describes what they're doing. Ground men in the past, people have interpreted as like, um, like working on the lawn. <laughs> so line worker is a better description um, of what, what they do and it's a little more inclusive. And so they're the ones assisting on the ground and they can move up. It takes about, you, you start as a line worker and that's about six months to a year that you're, you're training as that. And then you get into our official training program, which is four to five years, I believe. And from there, they'll, they'll train you on everything you need to know. And then after that, you'll be a journeyman line worker, which is the top tier. Um, and you get paid the most, of course. And so the first, for, as a line worker, you start at about $18 an hour, maybe a little more, depending on um, what the current rate is. And then you work your way up eventually to $42 an hour. And by the time that happens, I'm sure the rate might go up by then even. So, but just right now, you can kind of get an idea of how, how good of a, um, salary you can make off of being a line worker. And so you might be wondering, how do I become a line worker? What kind of qualifications do we look for? So we focus on, when, when the recruiter's looking at our, at the resumes, um, we look for someone who has experience working outdoors, who can take that extreme climate. Because, um, you know, you're working in the wind, the snow, rain, sometimes, you know, depending on safety. Um, but the heat, the cold, you've got everything. So they've really got to show that you have experience working outside. And that could be as simple as having, you know, working on someone's lawn and, and doing that or, or um, working in like a warehouse or something like that. So as long as you've proven in your experience that you, you've been able to accomplish that, um, then you've got a pretty good chance at getting an opportunity to move on to the next step. Um, something to note, or when you, if you do get a phone screen, if your resume impresses the recruiter, um, they'll want to know if you're willing to do overtime. So you've really got to make sure you are willing to do overtime. Our line workers work about 300 hours of overtime a year, and it's great because they get they get paid for it. Um, overtime is typically one and a half to double, um, depending on if it's holiday or weekend or whatever it may be. And so it's a great opportunity to make some more money. Um, but it's something we do expect of our line workers and it's something you have to be ready to commit to. Um, not every, you don't have to commit to every single call out, but you do have to um, be willing to. So as I said, about 300 hours on average. And we want to make sure you are able to show up to work. And so if you're in a um, program in school and you've got good grades and good attendance, that kind of shows that you've been showing up, you're ready to put in the hours and the work and the effort um, to be successful. And so also something that you will need to keep in mind is being proficient in math, medical and mechanical types of subjects. So once you get through, um, once your resume passes, and I think there's a phone screen, and then you get to the CAS test. Um, so if you haven't heard of the CAS test, definitely look it up. It's something that you will have to be tested on to make it to the next step of an interview. Um, and basically what that is, is kind of like the SAT, um, but for our line workers. And so it's an aptitude test um, focusing on math and other things and comprehension, things like that. So definitely Google that, look up some resources, be prepared for that. You don't want to start studying once you get an, off, an opportunity to, to take that test. You want to be prepared for it because it's just like the SAT. You've got you've to kind of get yourself in the mindset and you've got to be ready for it. Um, so those are a few tips I've got. 
And if anyone has any other quick questions, I can definitely take them in a little bit. Mia, if you could move on to the next slide, please. So right now we've got lots of opportunities on our website. Um, I recommend going to careers.dominionenergy.com, um, which is where you'll find all, all of our opportunities. And you can set up job alerts on there. If there's nothing that interests you right now, just like search it in the search bar and then it should say like, didn't find this, set up a job alert. Um, and then you'll be able to set up a job alert to, for us to email you anytime. Um, say a line worker pops up. We do have a line worker opportunity right now. It's for Central Virginia, so maybe a little bit far for any of you, if any of you come from Central Virginia, um, or if, you, if you're willing to relocate, make it very clear in your resume or your cover letter, whatever that may be, that you're willing to do that. Because typically, um, we've found that when we hire line workers, they like to stay in their location. If they're hired into a location they're not interested in living, then they'll try to move back to it and it kind of um, makes us start at the very beginning. So definitely apply for the region that you're willing to move to or be in and make it clear in your resume or cover letter that you're willing to, that you want to be in that location. Um, so we've got that. We will have another Eastern one in probably in a few months next year in 2018. Um, definitely keep an eye out for it. And we've got an electric serviceman first class for any of you who are back in school that does require about five years of experience. Um, so we, I mean, if you're in school and you're learning still and you graduate soon and that was just kind of something that you were doing to improve your, um, your likelihood of getting a good job or if you were looking to gain some additional skills, then maybe for those of you that are doing that, the electric serviceman might be a good opportunity. But we do have lots of lots of internships and this is the time of year that we've got them open. So definitely um, be sure to keep an eye on that if you are focused, if you're interested in um, doing a transfer program, we've got a particular opportunity called a customer billing, um, customer billing internship. And that is open, I think another one as well, is open specifically to, to students that are looking to transfer to a four-year university and currently in a community college. So definitely cruise through those. And again, we'll have more come in and set up job alerts and, and hopefully you'll find something that interests you. And I think that's all the slides I've got. If you could go to the next one. Yep, and that's how to apply. Um, Careers.dominionenergy.com. And I'm happy to take any questions if anyone has any. I have the lines unmuted. If anyone has any questions about anything. <coughs> Excuse me. I do think this is a great opportunity, um, especially for those that are looking for internship opportunities, um, to go ahead and take a look and um, definitely apply. If you have any questions, um, you definitely want to uh, either send your uh, questions to me or, you know, feel free um, to reach out to Tally as well. Yeah, happy to. Uh, I will make sure to post um, information to contact both of us if you have any questions about anything. Yeah, and definitely if you apply for something, do let me know that you were listening to this information session and that you learned about the opportunity and I can pass your name along to the recruiter. Well, perfect. I want to thank you so much, Tally, for, for joining us today. Um, we will be um, providing this recording um, on our website as well as on our Facebook page um, of Thomas Nelson Workforce Development. Okay. And so if anyone wants to take a look at it um, later on, they'll be able to do so. Again, we really appreciate you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time today. Fantastic. Well, thank you. And we'll go ahead and conclude for today. Thank you, Tally. Good. Bye. Bye-bye.